confirmed Naruto Storm 4 will be coming out somewhere in 2015. Now, I actually have absolutely no idea how to feel about this. I mean, if they were to tell us that they split the teams up in two, one team was working on Revolution while the other team has been working on Storm 4 in secret, I would be happy because that would mean they would have at least a year maybe of development time behind the game but if they tell me that now as soon as we finish revolution and uh, we started working on storm 4 i would be extremely unhappy and um but yeah as i said before storm 4 has been confirmed so far the only platform it's been confirmed for is playstation 4 now obviously i know they're gonna end up um Revealing the Xbox one too because let's face it. Why would they just focus only exclusively for the PlayStation 4? I mean the game isn't really a Triple a title that can be you know put into an exclusive position So I'm, I'm assuming in due time they will reveal an Xbox one now What I don't want to see is them saying oh it will also be releasing for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 Now I know there are some people out there who have who, do who don't have the next-gen console and Unfortunately guys, hey, time doesn't wait for anyone. Time flies on. It never stops. So you either catch up or you're gonna be left behind. If they, if CyberConnect 2 really come out and say, hey, you know what? We will be releasing this as well for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. You can be assured that this game will not live up to any hype or excitement that we might have. Um, now I'm, um, what am I looking forward to in this game? <laughs> well, if you've watched my previous video on Revolution, you know exactly what I'm looking forward to. I am expecting that the combat system to be revamped, like revamped to its core. Like, I mean, this this guys, they want the game to be evil. Trust me, I want um, the Storm series to be on evil, but. If, it's con if it continues to be the same basic mechanics as it's been for the last few years, I don't see it going anywhere. Um, yeah, I want this game to be revamped. I want there to be a little bit more in-depth, you know. I'm not saying they should totally scrap the formula they have um, now. I know, I, re I remember back, I made a video of saying that they should really remove um, the combat system that we have now and just start from scratch, but... Then I, you know, I looked back at it and I decided, you know what, people might not be able to like it. People will probably say, nah, I don't like changes. I mean, it's true. Majority of people, we don't like changes. And it's it's perfectly fine, you know, in our nature, I guess. But there are, there are some people who always look forward to changes. For me, example, I like changes. Sometimes, you know, really. If, if it's good changes, I like it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward. I, ugh, I don't want to say I'm looking forward to it. I am intrigued, intrigued, so that I could use that, I could use the word intrigued, because I I, I understand why, why some people are hyped. I mean, we complain about the games. Uh, yes, I complain about this game. I always complain about the um, revolution. You guys, you guys don't really hear about it because I don't make videos about it, but in the behind the scenes, I'm always complaining. But as a Naruto fan of the series, Whenever you hear a new game is about to come out, just, you can't help to feel excited. Like, I was, uh, when I heard about it, I was excited, and then I remember the bullshit that went down, I went back down, so. There's that. Now, um, for it to be um, exclusively for the PlayStation 4, there are two things that could have caused this to happen. One is that maybe they've realized that splitting, um, Splitting, um, you know, the two the games into two different consoles always restricts the quality that they're able to put out. That could be one factor that could have led to the PlayStation 4 um, being, you know, being only released on the PlayStation 4. Now, I am just speaking um, hypothetically here. I know they're gonna release Xbox One, but for now, let's just pretend that it is an exclusive exclusively for the PlayStation 4. Another thing that they could have done is maybe they've realized that majority of the people who enjoy anime content have purchased the PlayStation 4 instead of the Xbox One. So that could be another factor. And it's also true that the Xbox One isn't doing extremely well on the ma um, Japanese market. So maybe that could have influenced them to advertise, to make this game exclusively to the PlayStation 4. Now, um, if that is true, and if we are to believe that this is the case, then there are a few things I would expect from a game on the PlayStation 4 Mac. Because, because we all know the PlayStation 4 
is an extremely powerful um, no, console. There is a lot to be done with it and there has been many developers who have come out and said that, you know, this game is, no, not this game, sorry, this console is really good, the architecture that they're using is perfect for creating games that they've always imagined to do. So, for what I want, like, honestly, this is me, I'm, I'm going to be rambling on for quite a while now because I want to give out all of my opinions out right now so I won't have to make... Well, I'm, I probably will make videos on as updates come out, maybe. But for now, let me just spit out what I want. No. All right. Um. So um, what I want to see is pretty much this. I want there to be um, a more fleshed out um story mode. Like, I don't want that two point five D, D um style gameplay that we had for the past. You know, since Storm 2, to be honest, really, I want a fully fleshed out 3D environment where the villagers, like all the villagers, the hidden leaf, the, vi the hidden sand, the hidden mist, all of them feel alive with shinobis and regular citizens walking around. And you're able to pick up missions, and like, you you're able to live out and do what you want to do um, in the village. Like, you know, since you're a shinobi, you'll be expected to be doing missions anyway, so that should have like a billboard outside each village where you're able to pick up missions and go do them and not just stop at the villages as well they can also explore um, even further maybe creating environments um, you know forest um, you know the desert of the hidden mists hidden sands or you know go above and beyond it is a powerful system I'm sure you can handle it um, Another thing that I'm looking forward to, that I'm hoping that they'll implement, as you guys know, various and various at times I've been mentioning this, they need to really balance out the game. Like, see, if it's if it's a fighting game like maybe Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, maybe the game comes out and then maybe one character isn't balanced out, you would like, you would expect an update within the next few weeks or something like that. But with these guys, they need to have it balanced out from day one because if it's not balanced out, there will definitely be an update after six months or so. I mean, hey, Revolution is a testament to that. So yeah, they need to really flesh out the combat system, make it so that there's that there is a, like everyone can enjoy it, yeah. But people who are advanced players can go above and beyond and really master their favorite characters. Because, you know, I play a lot of fighting games, so, you know, I would enjoy, I would like to test out my skills against other people, other veterans who would like to do the, the same thing. Um, so yeah, they need to flesh out the combat, definitely. Um, okay. Now, um, they also need to be, really, this time, they need to be, you know, bringing out fixes and updates and patches on a regular basis. None of, none of that, okay, we'll put one update today and the next update will come out in the next six months they need to really be updating the combat Re really just they should they should really listen to us as the fans because this is now an opportunity us guys okay i know <laughs> people have always said that this is this is it guys this is our opportunity but right now this is it we need we need to voice out our opinions we need to make them know what we want if we stay quiet and just hype and go oh my goodness i know naruto storm force coming out ah! then psh, not what's gonna happen it's gonna be the same thing same shit every time so this time we need to make our voices heard um yeah because you know I, honestly when i first heard about the game i went on youtube and i started looking at the comment sections of, every, of everyone who's talking about the game and it's always the same thing oh i'm so hyped oh my goodness my life my life is complete like bro two weeks ago everyone was complaining about this game so your life wasn't complete then <laughs> i don't know um so yeah, the graphics needs to be on point. Like I am talking about superb graphics. This is the PlayStation 4. We are leaping to the next generation. So no more um, missing of the anti-analysis. Anti um, no more missing of all that stuff. It, it needs to be on. The graphics needs to be on point, and it also needs to be 60 frames per second. 30 frames is no longer acceptable. 60 frames is preferred, you know, but if they, if the, if the, if they do 30 frames per second, is there really a bad side to it? I mean, I want 60 frames, everyone wants 60 frames, and people can no longer say, oh, what's the difference between 30 frames and 60 frames per second, because YouTube has pretty much, you know, released, um, 
the ability to see 60 frames on YouTube. So right now, everyone who was who was always saying, oh, 20 frames and 60 frames are the same, they can now shut the fuck up because the evidence is right there. So yes, the graphic needs to be on point. Everything just needs to be on point. This game, this game needs to be really good because not only that, like, I know, I seen people are demanding for characters. Don't be doing that. Don't do that. It's the, the manga is over. If they don't add the characters at this point that are relevant, then they're stupid. If in you know, all opinion, there's no point bothering and asking. Oh, I want to see um Sage Mood Madara. Oh, I want to see um Sasuke with the new Rinnegan. gun. He is gonna be in the game. Even freaking um Kagua, the main villain, who was actually kind of a disappointment, but the main villain will be in the game. I mean, if she's not in the game, then I don't have. I don't know why. It, I I can even see um. Some few, um, I can even see them adding um, char characters from the last um, Naruto the movie. There's a possibility they might do that. I mean, the game, the series is literally over. Um, everyone knows it's over. The people who even the people who read manga, no, just watch the anime, know it's over. So, the demanding characters at this point would be kind of a waste of our opportunity to voice out what we want to see in this game. If you kind of understand where I'm coming from. You can, like, I'm, I'm a huge Naruto fan, I, I've been saying this constantly, but I don't want this game to be shit, I don't want to, like, um, I, I don't see, um, I, I don't, like, for, for purchasing of this game, I, don't, I actually don't see myself purchasing it again on the PC, it depends, it really, it really just depends now at this point, um, I think by the time this game comes out, I'll probably have my PS4, but until then, um, I'm, I don't know. I always like, I always like picking up games at the most powerful system. So it's usually always gonna be on the PC. So any multi platform that usually comes out, I always pick it up for the PC instead of any other console. I only pick up, um, games on console if they're exclusively to that console itself. So that's why I pick up consoles. Like, so, you know, there's that. So. I mean, I wouldn't, like, I'm not picking up a PlayStation 4 for this game, like, for Storm 4. No, 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 no. I'm picking it up for all the exclusive games that I cannot play it anywhere else, like maybe Kingdom Hearts 3, um, Bloodborne, all that good stuff. So, yeah, guys, that's my opinion on this game. I'm sorry if I went too long. Um, I just wanted to voice out and let people know that we, this is an opportunity right now to really let them know what we want. Not, not voice that about the characters. Um, we can voice that about mo mods. We need more mods in this game. Like, the whole, the league mode was pretty damn good. I kind of like that. So they should bring out, oh, I'm sorry. I just remember something really important. They should make this game up to four players online. Okay. You know what? Sorry. I, I thought I was going to end this video here, but now there's a few more things I want to talk about. Okay. First of all, they should make it now. The Ninja World Tournament thing was a really good idea, but they need to develop more into it and allow up to four players to really, you know, go mayhem. I can imagine it going, oh my god, you know what? See, this is the thing. Every time I think of something that could that could possibly be inside a new Naruto game, I get excited, and when it comes out, I get disappointed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they should really do that. Also, since it is technically the last... Well, it's not the last, but it is the last Storm game. They're not gonna go Storm Five. I don't see the point of that. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. But for this for this particular video um, point, like the point I'm talking about right now, um, they should allow us to create our own characters. Come on, who doesn't want to see your own, who doesn't want to see their own characters kicking Naruto's or Sasuke's butt? Think about it. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I must stop now. So. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eye on this game. Definitely gonna um, see where this um, game goes in the future. I will not get hyped. I will try to stay. I am intrigued. I'm, I'm always gonna be intrigued by a new Naruto game, but I will not be hyped anymore. So hopefully, we'll, hopefully, you know, this game might prove me wrong. That's what I want. I wanted to prove me wrong that it has changed from the last um, Revolution game. So yeah, guys, last question for today. What? How do you feel about um? This news about Storm 4. Do you think it's too soon? Do you think maybe they've, they've had this plan for a long time? And what do you think about what do you want to see in this new um in this new Storm 4 game? 
Well, thank you so much for listening to me because I'll probably just have a picture of the new game behind um, it. But if you want to keep up with everything that I do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'm Extreme Panasonic, and I'm signing out. Peace.